hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Salt Mine server. Here we are, back at this little area with our lovely little lions. And uh, you guys, you'll be happy to know that after all the death and destruction that happened to me while building this house has all been made up for. You can see in my hotbar, I've got some diamond stuff. I was very, 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 very busy today. Got myself some chain boots, protection three, feather falling four, unbreaking three from the skeleton farm. Pretty badass. Also got myself protection four, unbreaking, protection four, unbreaking, and protection four, unbreaking aqua affinity. I do have diamond boots that have protection four, unbreaking three, and depth strider three, but no feather falling. So until I get the feather falling, I ain't putting them on. And I'm going to put mending on those two. Got myself an efficiency 5, fortune 3 uh, axe, efficiency 5, unbreaking 3 shovel, efficiency 4, unbreaking 3 pick, plus I have an efficiency 5, unbreaking 3 soap touch mending pick, and an efficiency 5, fortune 3, unbreaking 3 pick. And then I got my kick ass bow, which this is now the third bow that I've made. Uh, power 5, Mending Flame, Unbreaking, Infinity Punch 2, and then my Awesome Sword, Sharpness 5, Fire Aspect 2, Looting 3, Knockback, and Unbreaking. I spent a lot of time AFKing at the um, fish farm, at the Skelly farm, cleaned out the Skelly farm while I was waiting there, and um, yeah. Also, what I did was in here, I started doing some of the work. I still don't have pistons for the door, I'm waiting for um, slime balls. Cleared out this area down here. This is actually going to be for the redstone that's going to control the door that's right up here. Uh, these two are going to be controlled by the pistons as well. The plan, the design I'm looking at, it's not mine. I don't know who is, who is it. I'll, I'll put it in the description once I figure out if or what I'm using. It's actually going to hide this entire floor. So this might come back one more and then that block, this block, this block, and this block will all be pushed down and then stairs will drop down just like so and you'll be able to go down here but it'll be completely flush with the floor so you won't even see that it exists. Other than that, nothing else has changed. So we did that and the reason why nothing has changed is just because I've been AFKing and doing other crap all day long. Uh, you can see there's my other, well that's my other shovel, my shady shovel, there's my nice diamond booties, my other axe, there's my fortune pick, I have another sword. What I did is I went out mining for probably three, four hours and just kept digging and digging and digging and digging until I actually got diamonds and I just used my uh, diamond pick or my iron pick to get diamonds and I'm, I made a pick. I think the first enchantment that I got was self touch. So from there, that point forward, I just kept digging in a straight line for like five, six hundred blocks. And I'd go over three and come back five, six hundred blocks and then go over three and then another six hundred. And I kept getting a little bit more diamonds. I think I ended up after I got fortune on them. I think I had 37 diamonds. I think I have one diamond left. I don't even know if I have it here or not. I don't think so. Probably threw it in the garbage or died with it. It's usually what I do. So I have... Uh, Quite a few things that I'm working on here. You can see I got something over here. Got all my goodies in here. And this is gonna be another house that I'm building. And you're like, oh shit, man, why are you building another house? Because what I'm realizing, I need storage like crazy. And I think what I'm gonna try to do this round of Minecraft is rather than trying to combine everything in one area, I want to spread things out a little bit. So if I want storage, I'm going to build this. If I want enchanting, I'm going to build something over there. So I'm going to take a big chunk of property, but put little small buildings as I see fit for what I need to do. So for things like this here, one, two, three, one, two, three, actually probably go one more there. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can actually see that the feather falling is working wonderfully. And um, I'm very happy about that. I really hate this freaking eating mechanic shit. It's like just starve for all I give a shit. I'm trying to build, damn it. 
I ain't got time to eat. Ain't nobody got time for that. Two, three, four. <laughs> so I'll do this. I'm not gonna do the whole um, cutting and editing the video like I did for the first episode that I did with this. Um, I'm gonna just kind of show you guys the outline right here and I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna build the rest uh, just to save time. Yeah, I want these to be a little shorter because my plan is um, I'm gonna have like a double row of wood all the way across. And you're not really going to be able to see the double row. Which you're probably thinking, well, then why even bother? Uh, because you will be able to see it from the outside and you'll be able to see it from the inside, but only one of each. So when you're inside, you'll see this one. And when you're outside, you're going to see the other one. And I want to do, because I see Sausage do this, and it looks so sexy when he does it. So I want to do like this here, and then put buttons on that. And then from here, this is going to go all the way across, like so. And yeah, I can't reach that. So we're going to have something that looks like that. Shit. And give me some more spruce. Yeah, come on. There, there. Wrap it around. Get rid of you. Go back up here. Like, come on. Put right there. And let me get my buttons. I made like a half a stack. And, and, and. Go right there like that see I like that it's just a little nice detail same with like the stairs here and then what I thought because I'm gonna have the double layer of wood put something like that across there and this is gonna be the doorway going in like so and then I've got the bone blocks but I've turned them up on their edge so I put them down like this just to kind of give it a little bit of texture this is um, all storage area so chests are gonna fill a lot of the area and um, there won't be a whole lot of windows. I probably put a window here and a window here. At the back or the side, I don't think I'll put any. Or if I do, it'll be like, you know, a small one maybe across here kind of thing. But like, you're gonna look at a friggin' gravel mountain. Probably not the coolest thing. If I do one here, maybe a, a little offset one. So. Uh, also, I, I'm going back to Sausage, but he's done things like this, where you have like a, just a single like half window kind of thing. So maybe do something like that as well. But let me go off camera, guys. I'm going to build the rest of this thing, and um, I don't know, see how sexy I can make it. And Again, it's kind of going with the Asian style, because, well, I've kind of committed myself now that I said I'm going to do multiple buildings. I can't exactly do, like, uh, Asian style there, colonial over here, medieval over there, modern over here. I guess I could, but, I mean, it is Minecraft. You don't really have to follow anything. So I have a nice little pathway. Actually, I want to get rid of you, put you there. Yeah. Nice little pathway leading up to this beautiful, beautiful start of a home. Anyways, guys, let me go off camera. I'll continue building this. I'll bring it back once I've got this done. And then hopefully I'll have pistons and um, slime balls and all that kind of stuff by then. And I'll be able to start building that uh, two-wide staircase. That's part of the goal for today's episode. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, here we are. We're back. And we're done. Look at this bad boy. I think I want to change those out, but I'm not sure what to. I wanted something that was contrasting. Maybe birch? Um, but dark oak might look nice as well. So we've got the uh, spruce on the outside, the bone block, and then on the inside. I did the bone block for the floor, but I tilted it all on its end. So it's put down that way. Got glowstone and all the corners, basically underneath all the carpet and that kind of stuff there. So nicely lit up and same with that corner over there and that corner there and obviously this is my storage house so we got all this area up 
here as well. So we got all the smelting in here, a couple crafting benches in the corners, a nice high ceiling on that. Looks amazing. And then a whole wall of chests here. And we got a little balcony on each side that we can actually go out onto. Very nice as well. Might change out the doors again. And same with the fence post here. Again, I was looking for something that would sort of blend with the uh, reddish of the nether brick. And this just kind of turned out a little too pukey. Nasty, gross. Uh, so that's basically what I've done here. I was going to put windows on the back side, but it just looks onto a uh, gravel mountain. So absolutely wonderful. Uh, yeah, so this is this is basically it. Um, you can see it from up this way here. Get a nice little view from the side there, just so you can kind of see how the whole thing kind of looks. Very nice. I love it, love it, love it. And it's cool too because if you wanted to, you could pretty much jump over to here if you wanted to break in that way. You could, and you could only go up so far, and then you get stuck. So. So the last part of this video, what I plan on doing, I was going to do the doors with you guys and a hidden staircase, but that's going to have to hold off for another episode because I don't have the materials. Um, I'm still waiting for slimes and stuff like that so we can get pistons and so I figured rather than trying to hunt them down and look for them that way, I'm going to wait till we get the slime farm up and running and then I'll be able to work with that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is add a bit of an extension. We're going to put that over on that side there as well. So I built a little bit of a fountain, nothing too big, just a small little guy and yeah, very simple. Oh yeah, I forgot a block up there. Uh, just a very simple guy and nothing too big. It's like 7x7 seven seven, I think it is, something like that. So I, we're going to mirror the same thing over here. I have the layout basically done to kind of make it a little bit oops, a little bit faster for me on camera. We are kind of running a little bit low on time uh, because the first part of this video took a little bit longer than expected. I thought, well, with the tour coming for the uh, house and everything else, what could I do? Uh-oh. It crashed the game, what we could do. All right, guys, sorry, my apologies for that there. Uh, I had a bit of an NVIDIA crash. First time I've had that in a very, very long time. Okay, so this is the uh, the basic setup for the, the outside here. Why do I have that there? This there this there and now what we do put some half slabs down just because we don't want people getting in there or we don't want mobs to come in after us if we need a place to hide so we can throw these guys all the way around i'm gonna leave the middle open just so i can get back out and then what we do in here we're gonna fill this in like so all the way around perfect now, right there, and hopefully I can get this right. So this is uh, one, two, three, and I, I, I don't know. It almost seems like it would go one more, then go stone. Yeah, it seems about right. Now. We need to go back down beneath the glowstone. So, over this side, let me think here. Yeah, one underneath, right there. That's where we're gonna put these guys, like this. Right there. these going around perfect all right so now we can put these guys right here just for a bit of guidance and then we get our stairs and these guys are gonna go this way and, eh, go like that right there get it on the bottom half otherwise you're screwed right there right there this is a very simple design. There's nothing fancy about it. It doesn't have multiple water exits or anything like that. I could go fancier, but 
in all honesty, I didn't want to take away from the look of the house, um, because it's just, I don't know, to me it was just something simple, you know, you didn't want to go completely bonkers with it. I ran out of stairs, damn it. Um, yeah, what um, the other plan is, I guess we could put the water in now. Uh, probably not best to do that. Let's just put that away for now. Let's go over here. We gotta make some stairs. Eh. Give me those. Perfect. You can go there. And one other thing I want to do, and this is uh, a little trick I learned a little while ago, just to kind of add a different effect to the water, depending on what uh, texture pack you're running or if you've got, uh, what do you call it on? Uh, Optify, that's the name of the damn thing. And if you've got that on, you can turn on clear water, and this really makes a big difference in that. There, get rid of these guys right there. Pop this guy down, want that there, that and there, there. I'm trying to not clear too much of it away. And over here, you, you, you. Oops. And we need a torch. Let's see, center, probably be there-ish. Yeah, why not? That works for me. So now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take cyan wool, and we're actually gonna line the bottom with cyan wool. And all that does is, again, it just kind of adds a bit of an effect to the water and changes the color of it a bit. So, especially if you have the clear water on, it really adds a nice effect to it. Sort of like a deep blue ocean kind of color. There. So we've got that guy done right there. Now I want to go check. I have, uh, I know stairs go right, is it here? Or here? I can't remember where the hell the stairs go. Let me go check out this one. See if it goes. Oh, okay, like a so. Uh huh. Okay, and then stairs on the corner down at the bottom. So the stairs will go here and here, and oops, there and there, and there and there, and lastly there and there. And then as for these guys, we're gonna get rid of that one and that one. I'm gonna put that, ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Put that one there. Put that like that. I dick. I can't seem to get that right. There we go. And we will get rid of that one and that one. And pop that there and pop that there. Oh, just in time to sleep almost. Okay, so. Yeah, I think we got pretty much everything done here. So, if we go, ah, don't eat, come on, stop eating, it's not your job to eat, it's your damn job to build, fool, and, ooh, there, there, pop you there, pop you there, and what I did, I guess for a little bit more of effect than anything else was, oops, there, come across, gotta go up one, over one, and then right here, put this right on the bottom half. So that's it for that. Ooh. There. Now, let's go sleep this off. You can see just a little bit might be a little bit higher than the other one to be honest with you. Let's go out here and see what they look like when we're kind of standing off in the middle. I think they're the right. See I wanted something just to kind of add a little bit more depth to it. Alright let's go sleep so we don't get any mobs trying to uh, bounce down on us. Got a nice little pathway leading up to the house there. I'm going to be continuing the path over to the main house. And then the next thing on the list for building is actually going to be an enchantment house. 
So as I said before in the previous episode, the plan for this is to be able to do um, a different house for each thing that I need. Stupid zombie, I hear you. Alright guys, I really don't know what's happening with the NVIDIA tonight. I've never had that problem before and apparently twice in a row. Might be time for me to end this episode, I think. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do basically is we're just going to kind of go through here. I grab a couple buckets and once I get the first two in, then we have uh, infinite source. So where did I put that right there? So we can grab that one. Put that one. There. Like so. And now you can see the effect that happens with the uh, with the water now because you can see underneath it. Put that there. Oh. That worked okay. Whoa. And there. And where else? Right there. Why not? And right there. Cool. We got that. Grab you. That's it. And lastly, to finish off, get out. And pop that down there. There we go. So we have ourselves a nice little double fountain. The next thing on my list to do off camera is to take the uh, whole setup that's here and transfer it over into the storage house. So now we have a double fountain that we have out at the front of the house just to kind of add in a nice little bit of effect. Uh, the other thing, if you were somewhat astute, you were able to see the flower pots that I put in everywhere. I also did the same thing on the inside of the house. Uh, we also have flowers all planted in here now, and in here, a couple flower pots there, a couple up in here, just to kind of, you know, add a little bit of flair to it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry we didn't get to the redstone stuff, but we will eventually, and you know me, we're going to go hard. So we're going to be doing quite a few redstone projects once we get this up and running, and uh, get a few of the other farms up and running on the server as well, which you'll probably get to see a couple collabs involving that as well. So thanks again for your support, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, you already know what to do. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button. I release videos every single day, three times a day. Take care.